obviously you can take it even further and uh, probably place it in a better location than mine I feel like mine's feeling just a bit uh, out of place I think what I can do to make it look like it makes more sense is I'll add an edge loop right here and then go to vertex and select the, uh, the ones from the back and just kind of move this guy down like that I think that makes slightly more sense just to make it look like it's more connected in there okay cool. so again to let's go back to this guy so obviously this guy is not perfectly placed here okay little edge scale these guys down there we go and to give this guy thickness as, as always select the faces go to extrude and move this guy like that I think it's really thin really thin piece here there we go okay and I think that's uh, working one thing I'm not liking too much for this guy uh, let's move this guy just a bit down like that there okay so now um, let's go ahead and make this thing and for that I think what we can do is we can go ahead and create something new let's create a cube Move this guy up. That press R. Scale this guy like this. Place it around here. Okay. Scale this just a bit more. Cool. Feels like it can be up, up like this. So R scale that. Okay. Now we want to give it a bit of roundness. So I'm going to select this edge and that edge. And what we can do is go to Edit Mesh and click on the Bevel Options box. See, I want this to be rounder. I'm going to set this higher. I I think that looking good. I want to fix the geo, so I'm going to vertex and vertex. So like that guy and this guy. Go to edit mesh, connect component, just so I can have a edge right there. Same for the bottom, so like that guy and this guy. Let it mesh, connect component. There we go. Okay. And I feel like this guy may have uh, some sort of roundness here, slightly. So what I can do is add an edge loop. Maybe around here. Move this down. Maybe even move these guys down like this. Just to give it just slightly. Some slight roundness up here. So that it doesn't go completely flat. Okay. I think that's working. I'm going to isolate it and select the faces at the bottom. Make sure that's all you have selected. And I'll go to Edit Mesh and Extrude. Um, press the one of the uh, cubes on the ends here and use the one in the middle. I'll use 
this one just a bit as well. Notice how the uh, scale is not perfect, it's not exactly what we want. So you may see yourself coming back uh, and shaping it slightly better. Like I can come here, select these, press R, you can scale, them, scale these. So I now select these guys and I can go to edit mesh extrude and press W move these guys down like that. I think we don't need too much thickness on these guys so keep it fairly uh, thin. Okay so now let me isolate it and I'm going to click these faces, go back, and I'll move these guys down a bit more like that. And you can do the same with the edge right here and here. Move this guy down like this. I'm also going to select these guys and move these guys down like that to give it a bit of roundness. Oops, let me select this guy. Okay. Press R to kill these guys slightly like this. And again, I know that this is really rough uh, shaping wise kind of rough pretty sure you guys can do a better job than this and move this guy up like that a little bit like this Let me isolate it. Oops, it looks like I selected some places, uh, some pieces here that I didn't mean to select. There we go. Okay. Again, this piece seems really rough uh, I think pretty sure we can do a better job with it but for the time being um, it's gonna stay pretty rough Actually, I think we can do, we can do it a lot better. That's what I mean by rough. I think we can move this guy forward. Like this. And have it like this and rotate it up. Looks kind of weird. Now what that is? I think I missed the piece there. Still not satisfied with the way it looks. But for the sake of the of the video, for the sake of this tutorial, I just don't want to get too concerned about the accuracy.
Okay. Anyway, uh, I know you guys can do better when it comes to shaping it. So I'm gonna leave it like this for now. 